is up you guys and welcome back to my channel or if you guys are new here hello I'm Keaton so today's video is very highly requested from you guys you guys have been asking me to do an updated jewelry collection for you guys so I'm going to be showing you all of the pieces that I really actually wear I feel like the last jewelry collection I just was like let me show you every single thing I have even though I literally rotate the same like four pieces around but recently I've gotten so much better about just like changing out my earrings and stuff and I used to never do that or care as much about it but I think it makes a really big difference just in your everyday outfits if they're super casual like I know we're all in quarantine we're all wearing like sweatsuits and stuff but really like elevating and helping out a very casual outfit is so easy by adding jewelry so I'm gonna be showing you guys everything I'm going to try my very very best to link everything in the description of this video if it's not there that means I literally cannot find it but I have so much jewelry for you guys I'm gonna show you guys this um, jewelry rack that I have look at all of this jewelry. I'm not gonna show each individual piece because it's just gonna take me too long, but I have so much different things that I wanna show you guys, so I'm gonna just hop right into it. Also, if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe. You guys can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok. You guys can stay up to date with me over there. I talk to you guys so much over on Instagram. If you follow me, you guys know I love talking to you guys on stories and comments and things like that, so let's just get into this. So the first necklace I have is by Vanessa Mooney. I really love pearls, and I think that they're coming back into trend. I've seen so many different pearl necklaces. There is a Vivian Westwood necklace that is so popular. I see so many like different influencers and stuff wearing it and it's gorgeous. So I really think pearls are like such a good little statement. So I have this one right here. This one below it is actually from the brand Fawn Star and it's just a plain gold uh, necklace and it actually had a charm dangling off of it but I just liked it plain so I took the charm off of it but that's that. The next thing I want to talk about is my hoops because I get so many questions every single time on Instagram and I've linked them so many times on Instagram for you guys but my hoops are from Jennifer Fisher Jewelry. If you guys have ever checked out her website, she has such, such beautiful, beautiful pieces. She has like fine jewelry and things like that. So they are pretty expensive. I will list down below all of the items so you guys can go see. I believe these are, I don't know what price range. I think they might be 300 to 400 dollars depending i also have a smaller size of them they are called the samira hoops so these ones are the mini no yes i don't know i'm gonna list them down below because i have a big size and i have a smaller size and they're mini and baby and i don't know which one is mini and which one is baby i think that these are the mini and these ones are the baby ones because they are ones that are bigger than this but they're gorgeous they're so amazing and they honestly i've had these for probably a year and a half now maybe longer than that and they have not tarnished like they're so beautiful and i wear them almost every day they're gorgeous and then the next earring i have on right here this one is from the brand nixie studios if you guys follow maddie bernard she has a jewelry company it's called nixie studios she makes amazing beautiful pieces that are just so cute you can personalize them so i actually have these little huggies right here that i just keep in my second piercing because i just think they look cute next to the bigger hoops um and i also have some with my initials on it i have mine and brandon's initials on them and then this third one is from Claire's and this is literally just a basic little stud that I have in my ear. When I got my ears pierced, I just put a little stud in there and I've literally never changed it. That was probably three or four years ago. <laughs> I have taken it out sometimes, but like I literally just keep the same piercing there every single day. And then my favorite newest addition to my jewelry collection is this little ear cuff. This is also from Nixie Studios. So this is actually an ear cuff that you can just remove. Like I don't actually have this pierced or anything. You can see because I can like move it up there. I can like drag it down here, things like that. Basically, you just squeeze or open up the ear cuff and you could tighten it on to whatever part of your ear you want to put it on. I've always loved the way ear cuffs looks. If you guys have ever seen Jaclyn Hill's ears and her piercings, they're stunning. Like, I know it's such a weird thing to like like on someone, but Jaclyn Hill's ear piercing is like my goal. I just don't have the actual balls to like pierce all of these different areas. I've always wanted my cartilage as well, but again, I don't have the balls to do it. So I love this little ear cuff. And if you guys need a really good one, I think Nixie Studios is like the best place to get one. And then we're going to move on to rings. So these rings that I just got are actually like my new favorite thing because I've been seeing them all over. I follow uh, Devin Carlson and she always posts like fun rings like this and it's just such like a funky old school style So if you guys remember these old like 
plastic looking rings they used to be so trendy my hands are huge like this is a legit claw like this is the size of my head they're these little like plastic looking rings and they're so cute these are from the brand Soli collective so all of the color ones are from uh Soli collective and then this gold one i got off etsy this is my favorite thing ever i wear this even if i'm not wearing like the other ones just because it's so gorgeous and what i really love about this one is i love that you can stack it like that with like the other dome looking rings i think they just make an outfit look more fun like i said even if you're wearing like a crop top or sweatpants or whatever it is throw on like a bunch of chunky jewelry and like make it super fun and then i can't honestly remember where this little chain one is but i think just throwing on a little gold band with any of these colorful ones looks so cute let's get into bracelets so as i said one of my favorite places to shop is actually i don't know if i said that this is my favorite place to shop but vanessa mooney is one of my favorite jewelry places to shop ever i love all of vanessa mooney's pieces where i got this necklace um and the first pieces i ever bought from them were bracelets because if you guys remember this I got this Christian Dior. Let me move this. This Christian Dior. I have hairy arms. I don't shave my arms. I know that might be weird. I feel like a lot of people shave their arms. I just like don't. I don't know. I'm just like living my life. So sorry about that. <laughs> but I have this Christian Dior. You guys can see it has a CD on it. Um, I have this bracelet and I really wanted to wear it like it's more of like an everyday bracelet. And I just didn't like the way it looked plain. And I was like, I really would love to stack more bracelets with that. So I went on Vanessa Mooney's website and I found some bracelets that I love. So these two that are directly next to it, look how gorgeous these are. Like these are just stunning pieces right here. And they just go so perfectly with the Christian Dior bracelet. And then this one is actually, I'll show you right here. <laughs> it's a little Louis Vuitton bracelet. And you can see it has like a little clasp. I just think these all look so cute together. I used to always wear like watches and stuff here, but I'm very much like a bracelet person. So I just love how all of the gold looks. As you can tell, gold is the jewelry that I prefer. I really don't have a lot of silver jewelry. It's not like my vibe. I don't know why I have like four pieces of silver jewelry right here, but I'm just not a huge fan. Doesn't look, I don't know, doesn't look like great on my skin. It's not my favorite thing. So these are all of my bracelets. Another thing I wanted to talk about is with the Christian Dior bracelet that I always get questions about, I also bought the Christian Dior choker necklace. I will show you guys this on. So it does have like adjustable so you can make it looser or tighter or whatever it is. But if you don't do it on like the tightest one, it kind of rolls over to where like if you're not doing it tight it'll just sit like that which is not cute so you have to do it on the tightest one but it's really gorgeous and i just love this choker i wear this almost every single day i wear it with oversized graphic tees i wear it with sweatpants i literally wear it everywhere i wear it to like the airport i wear it everywhere it's my favorite thing ever but the number one question i always get about this necklace and this bracelet is do they tarnish because they are obviously a little bit more expensive, you would assume that they don't tarnish, but I have seen tarnishing specifically on this bracelet. So I haven't seen any on the necklace and I truly think the reason that this has tarnished more is because I don't take as much care of it, which I know is bad. Obviously it's my money, so like I can, you know, spend it how I wanna spend it. And if I'm not taking the best care of it, then that's my thing to live with. But I truly think that this bracelet has tarnished and the necklace hasn't because I've definitely worn it in the shower or I've left it just like sitting on my counter as opposed to like in a little bag or something like that. So I think that that's more so why this one has tarnished a bit. So it does if you don't take really good care of your jewelry, but I honestly think that's with any of these pieces. I'm gonna have a lot of pieces from Vibe Season to show you. And some people have experienced tarnishing with their pieces and some people have it. And I truly think it's the way that you take care of your jewelry, putting it in like all the little jewelry bags and stuff like that are, I don't know why I just looked at my hand, like that motion. <laughs> was so weird um but yeah putting it in like jewelry bags and stuff like that is probably the best way to store them and here i am with this huge tower i'm like yeah put your stuff in jewelry bags no but seriously just keep them like safe and so they don't get like dusty musty crusty okay moving on i want to show you guys this other pearl necklace that i have this one is from vibe season so let's get into all of the vibe season jewelry 
This one is gorgeous. I think that this is actually very much a take on the Vivian Westwood necklace. It does have like a little cross right here and it does sit more so like a choker. I apologize because I have had most of these Vibe Season items gifted to me so I don't know the links of them. I always get questions on what is the link that you got and all that kind of stuff. I don't know but I will try and find out and link it in the description for you guys because I know that that sucks. Um, another necklace that I got which is just gorgeous is this one. This is again from Vanessa Mooney and I actually bought this for Coachella. It's just really really pretty. It's just like these gold like balls and I just think it makes an outfit look more fun. Again, it's more of like a funky piece. It's not like super elegant jewelry and stuff. I mean, it's gorgeous, but it's not like it's you guys know what I mean. Another brand that I really, really love and I absolutely admire their pieces so much is the brand Gold Hour Co. So basically what they do is they take like and they repurpose old designer jewelry. So for example, they have this, I have this one from them and this is like a little Chanel chain kind of thing and it's so cute and it looks so freaking gorgeous. I wear that one all the time and I always get questions on it. They have so many different pieces. I have one necklace from them which Oh my gosh, super sad because it actually broke and it was my fault. I'm an idiot and I thought I could put it like over my head and not undo the clasp. Just like just the laziness in me is just not okay. So it broke, which I can fix it so it's fine. But this one is definitely my favorite piece from Gold Hour Co. You guys can see this one actually is a little Louis Vuitton uh, lock and it has a key on the chain. And I just love this one because again, it's a very like chunky, fun necklace and it looks gorgeous. I also think what's really important is like making sure all of the gold jewelry or, ju or like silver jewelry, whatever it is that you guys like, works together because there are some pieces that I have that I will not pair with others because the gold is too yellow or the other one is too dim or whatever it is so just like keep that in mind just it's all about the stack that you're wearing on and making sure those colors like flow I don't I know I don't know if that makes sense okay so the next pieces I want to show you guys are my favorite pieces from vibe season I have I have so many pieces from Vibe Season, I cannot go through all of them because I mean, I would be here forever, but I am gonna show you guys my favorite and the ones that I get the most questions about. So let's get into this really quickly. This necklace right here is definitely a fan favorite. This is this little ruby necklace. I believe they might have other colors of this, but it's gorgeous. Again, it's just on a little gold chain and it has a little ruby on here. I tell Brandon that I got this for him and it's like his birthstone. I like tell him not to be cute, but that's like not not true like I didn't even order this <laughs> I just like to pretend but it's so pretty what I love about this is when I'm wearing an all nude outfit all white all black whatever it is and I'm throwing on gold jewelry popping in a little like dash of color in your jewelry so much fun makes an outfit look so cute even like doing an all white outfit and you throw on like all of these chunky little rings and like you throw on this little colorful gem I think it's so cute I feel like they definitely have some other colors of that on their website but another thing that vibe season is very much known for is having very personal like personal pieces so you can do initial necklaces you can do nameplate necklaces all that kind of stuff so I have a ton of nameplate necklaces from them I have like 40 different necklaces that say Keaton like does people know, do people know my name like I could I have more nameplate necklaces like it's actually so ridiculous so I'm gonna show you guys a few because they have so many different fonts they also have them to where you can wear your birth year so mine is 1997 my hand is so large that's so embarrassing I'm gonna like do like the back side of my hand or something but this one is 1997 and I just think it's so cute and so dainty. Again, I love having personal jewelry just because I feel like it's cute. I always get questions when I wear certain jewelry and stuff like that or even having any of these. They sell some on Vibe Season that say angel or they say female, you know, just like little statement necklaces. They're always cute to throw on with stuff. And then my favorite font or my favorite nameplate necklace I have from Vibe Season. Oh no, not this one. Where are you? This one right here. I wish it would focus without my fingers. Okay, so this one right here, it obviously says Keaton, but I love this one because it has a little 
butterfly on it and I think it's so cute and beautiful I don't know I just love the little butterfly obviously you can customize this to whichever like thing you want on it if you want like a different name or you just want to say something cute like female or like boss I don't know something like that you can get that on here I just really love that they have a design with this little butterfly on it I think it's really cute these are all getting so mixed up next necklace I was that English next 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 necklace <laughs> This one is from Nixie Studios. I love this one because I love the chain on this one. Like I love how it looks like a little rope, if that makes sense. And then you have this little detail on here and it's actually pink rhinestones around it. So I love that because again, I love a little colorful moment. I just love fun and personal jewelry and I think it's so cute. Another one I also have from Nixie Studios is this very cute little lock necklace. This one, again, you can customize this. So this one actually has a bee on it. I know it keeps like turning around, but it has a little bee on it. I got this one because I thought it'd be cute, like a bee for Brandon, which is my boyfriend. So I have a lot of jewelry that has his initials and stuff like that. And I also have some really cute earrings from Nixie Studios in there. Uh, one of them has a K and one of them has a B and they're super cute and they're super fun. I think I'm gonna get into more earrings and more rings. So the next two rings I have are right here and they are these Cuban link looking rings. I absolutely love these. I love pairing these with stuff. So both of these are actually from Vibe Season as well. This one is actually a little thumb ring. I love thumb rings. I actually just ordered a pinky ring because I would really love to have a pinky ring, but I just love the way they look. Again, stacked with anything or if you just wear them plain in your day-to-day -day life, having on just like little edgy jewelry and stuff like that. I think this looks so cute. I love it so much. So these two are from Vibe Season. So these two little black rings right here, I got so many compliments on when I wore these the other day on my Instagram story. I absolutely love the way they look. I actually got them in a set off of Princess Polly. Princess Polly has some really cute everyday jewelry pieces. I don't think that they will like last you like super long. Obviously they're not super expensive um, and stuff like that, but they definitely do the job and they look super cute paired with other things. I just love the black one because I feel like it's really good with different outfits like depending on what you're wearing a lot of times if you're wearing so much gold like all on your fingers you obviously need a little bit of color to break it up so I just love the way this looks oh yes I wanted to talk about these I absolutely love these these are so much fun so you always see those really colorful rings all the time I used to always want them and I would go on Amazon to find them but they just wouldn't be the best quality I have these three super colorful little rings and these are from Adina's Jewelers Adina's Jewelers has some really great, beautiful pieces, and they're all individual colors. You can buy these in whatever color you want. They have like blue, green, purple, orange, like they have every single color of these. So I have a little baby pink one, which again, like I don't think there's ever too much jewelry, but I love this rainbow one. Actually, that's so cute, stuffed with the little dome ring. Like look at this little rainbow moment. That's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna leave that one there because I love the way it looks. I think it's so cute. Okay, but anyway, all of these rings are from the brand Adina's Jewelers. They also have very dainty, cute necklaces, which I love. I love Adina's just for like different things like that. They have great little earring details. All of these sites have really amazing pieces. The most expensive site that you would shop on that I've listed so far would be the Jennifer Fisher jewelry one, which obviously those are different things that you can invest in, the different earrings and things like that, which is definitely more finer, but much much nicer quality and will last you a super long time. Okay, this is the last few items of jewelry that I want to share with you guys and I want to share a few of these little bitty earrings that I always put right here like next to the bigger hoops. There's so many I just plopped all on my hand but I do have a couple from Nixie Studios that I love. They're more of like my everyday earrings. I love these for just like casual days. So I'll show you guys. Oh, and I'm holding these completely backwards. So these are the initial earrings. You can see one of them's a B, one of them's a K. They're super cute, again, very personal. And you just kind of layer them with that. The only thing is, is I don't normally wear these when I'm wearing larger hoops because they, the charm will hit the hoop most of the day. So I can always like hear it in my ears. Kind of reminds me of like Aquamarine, you know, when the starfish are like, talking to her my earrings are okay moving on these are from the brand Lauren Olivia again 
very cute little charms like this that you can just layer with any type of jewelry that you guys are wearing whether you're wearing dainty hoops it's actually really cute to do like a bunch of these stacked if you have more piercings than i do i can't find the website that i got all of my other little mini hoops but v the label on instagram i love them i follow them and i love all their pieces they do very dainty earrings as well i know you guys can't see these but we've got a little like moon and we've got a rainbow and they're super cute these ones are really dirty and worn out because i wore these for like six months every single day and i never took them out which is crusty and i hate that for me but like that's what i did and i feel like that's realistic so sorry about it the last brand i want to mention is the brand west angel jewelry so they actually sent me this and this is I'll show you guys obviously I'm not a huge silver girl but I absolutely love this because I love the mixed metals look so the chain is gold and the B is silver and it also has like these little like what it looks like rhinestones but it's really just like indents where it, I don't know it's just indents on it and it looks really cute so they do a bunch of metal looking pieces they're owned I believe by the same people who create a vibe season but they have like a different look and a different feel and things like that and I love this jewelry they do a lot more of like edgier stuff and they have again more of the mixed metals thing which I don't think vibe season offers that is all of my jewelry I hope that you guys enjoyed this video I hope it gave you a little bit of jewelry and spell i know we're all bored and we're all wearing sweatsuits and we're all wearing very casual outfits these days but the best way to dress it up is by adding a little bit of jewelry even on days where i'm not even going anywhere and i'm just staying in the house i love taking a shower and adding on jewelry because it makes me feel a little bit more put together so i will link everything in the description down below for you guys if it's not there it means i literally cannot find it i might even go on the description later on and add in even more pieces than what are here because I can't remember all of the names of all of them. So if I figure out all the names, I will link them all down below. But thank you guys so much again for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and you guys can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I stay up to date with you guys so, so much over there. So don't forget to follow me and I will see you guys next time.